Oh, good morning. I guess. Boys down there, the poor staring at me. I guess I better do my sugar. Uh, well, I've been thinking. And that always gets me in trouble. This is the age of men. Better way to put it. Time of human beings on earth. But I think if we're not careful, we're headed for a mass distinction. And then the animals will come back just like they did when everybody didn't go to work. Everybody stayed in their houses, the animals were roaming around everywhere. Ow. That hurt. Uh, let's see what, let's see if boy's right. No worry, you ain't right. That ain't bad at all. Crazy dog. He's way over there in the floor staring at me. Well, at least he ain't up in my lap. Oh, he's trying to cover himself up. He's going back to bed. Yeah, the age of men is about to come to an end. If we ain't careful, we don't get on the ball. Now they're going to take... Uh, pay more attention to the coronavirus stuff and the pandemic and social indistance, trying to start a wars, closing consulates. Consulates? Yeah. The embassies, more or less. Uh, who in the hell knows nowadays? I got the sm small problems. Allergies. Might be this damn lip gloss. I doubt it though. Uh. Or you get underneath my chair, and that's not a smart move, dude. You're locked up in this under this recliner if I get up. Already know. That dog's silly. I just keep it up. I wish they'd quit making these thyroid pills so damn small. Yeah, age men. I wonder what the hell's gonna come after us. Darwin's theory, evolution, don't know, I want, like ancient people a long time ago, they believed in the fae people, you know, le leprechauns and the elves and all the other damn people. Yeah, we're going to die off the way of the dinosaurs. Everybody said it was a meteorite. No, the meteorite just finished them off. Hell, they had diseases. Hell, they couldn't even see a damn mosquito, so hell, they had. They already had dying off. Uh, just finished them off. I've got to make an order on some vitamins. Yep. That's what's going to happen to people. They're going, oh, I don't know. Look what we've done to the environment. Yeah. We've killed off. If the meteorite killed off 90% of the species on Earth, oh, we're helping kill it off the other 10%. And that ain't no shit. How much has came since by our hands? Oh, I named three or four of them myself. Um, yeah, and I ain't even a zoologist. I'm a biologist, but not a zoologist.
carrier pigeon, uh, the North American parrot, uh, let's see, the islands of uh, uh, New Zealand, the damn Mora bird. Uh, God knows the species we didn't even know died by our hand. Hell, we almost killed off American bison. Uh, now we, we're out there hunting endangered species like elephants and shit. Be damn crazy. Yep, age of men is going to come to an end. And it's going to come to an end by our own hand. That's what's so damn sad. We're that damn stupid. Here we are arguing and, and splitting America. It's almost as bad as the Civil War, North against the South, and here we are at one another's throat over what? A president that's going to run more, four more years? What the hell? I mean, after that one, there'll be another president, and then another president, and another president, if we don't get in a war with China. And then and the age of men becomes, comes to an end. Well, there might be eight people left, like an ark. We get to start over, if we're lucky. Yeah. we got enough damn things to worry about. Hell, intergalactic solar collisions. we got all kinds of damn worries. One of people ain't crazy already. We don't have to cause anything on ourselves. But we are. We're causing the shit. Like Stalin and... Mussolini and Hitler and you can probably put our president in that damn bill. And it ain't what the, the people, what usually presidents do it, it's what he's, they're doing to the, the people at one another's throat. It straightened up, uh, you know, social injustice, you know, indifferences. Thinking you're better than the next human being that walks the earth. You're not. You're a biped. You know. Same damn thing. But, yeah, like you, for my religious friends, when God's had enough, he's had enough. When he puts his foot down, he's pretty damn big. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, man, he's fed up with mankind, God does, and he tears open the eastern sky. And he sticks one eyeball in. And that covers from all the east all the way straight over your head. So that's a one big eyeball. To find out what mankind is doing. He really ain't looking on mankind right now because he can't look upon the sin. That's what it says in the book. I read it multiple times. The main thing of it is, even if you don't believe in higher spirit or higher God. Believe in ourselves. Look what we're doing. You know what we're doing. We're causing social un unrest. We're at one another's throats. Uh, people like to live off of other people's misery. Come on, I mean, held from the littlest things to the biggest things. You know, pride can be a dangerous thing. Social injustice, un unrest to be a, is a dangerous thing. Wars have been fought over a lot less. You know, Helen of Troy fought over one woman. Yeah. Basically, he didn't want her either. It was pride. You know, if I can't have her, nobody else can. Then the whole damn world started. It could be over an orange and an apple. Well, it don't matter what it's over. Mankind's stupid. It always has been. Uh, I mean, if you spent all the energy, not counting money or whatever, but all the energy it took into warfare, all the inventions and this, that, and the other, and put it to practical use on uh, feeding the poor, feeding the hungry, 
uh, clothing us, inventions to make our lives easier, instead of trying to kill one another, or, uh, or make yourself so damn rich you can't even catch your damn money to take the lifetime. I heard the other day there was a per excuse my hiccups, gonna become the first trillionaire. Can you imagine that shit? Not billionaire, but a trillionaire. It said how long is what, if he sat there and counted his money, it would have to be five or six lifetimes before he could get to count the end of it if he's counting one dollar at a time. Can you imagine a stack of a trillion dollars? <clears throat> Maybe Leon Musk has got the right idea to get the hell off this planet and start over. But hell, he'd be a dictator up on Mars, so what the hell's the difference? Then he'd have you in a closed environment, and hell, there wouldn't be no place to run and hide. But though this is the age of men, and I hope it continues, but if it don't get his shit together, it ain't gonna continue very damn long. I, I, like I said, my allergies brought me into the realization we're just hanging on a thread. Some little cashew nut or cashew oil that I was using that didn't agree with me. And I suffered over about 36 hours because of it. I mean, if it could knock out a person by just eating a peanut or a cashew or an avocado or something like that that you're deadly allergic to. You know, they talk about this coronavirus, okay? Yeah, if, it's, if this ain't the fifth nail in the coffin, there'll be another one. But we have the potential. Instead of shooting us up full of damn much hot air to get our ass on the ball and get the vaccine. I heard there's come one coming up. But look at the hundred and forty some odd thousand people that's died. I gotta answer the phone and talk to you later.